Hello, in this video I'd like to show you how to make a scatter plot and to draw a line of best fit. Uh, and show you an example of this with a data set that I made up uh, right here, which is about the growth of children. I made this up, I didn't exactly look up the numbers to know what typical heights are for ages, for children of different ages, so if you look this up and you see that my numbers don't match up with reality, I apologize. But let's say we've got this data set and we wanted to use these 10 children of different ages and different heights to try to understand what typical growth rates would be for for children under 10. And we can answer other questions like, well, what would be the age of a newborn baby? I see with all these ages here, none of these are newborns, um, but we don't need to have an actual newborn to be able to come up with a pretty good estimate for how tall one would be. Same thing with a child that is, let's say, five years old, there are no children here that are exactly five, but we could use this data to come up with a pretty good estimate. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to take each of these children and plot them on a graph. So we'll put age in years on the x-axis, height in inches on the y-axis, and we'll have a graph that looks like this. So here's age in years, here on the y-axis is the height in inches, and we can start with just this first child, 2.25 years old, 24 inches tall. If I go over to 2.25 inches or years old, I can go here on the x-axis, I can slide up the graph till I get to 24 on the y-axis, and right about there is where I would have um, a point. So this would be the point for the first child right there. Then I could move on to plot the second and third points and so on. And when I do, I would get a graph that ends up looking like this. So here is the data for all ten children and kind of all kind of in a row here. They call this a scatter plot, which is not exactly a, a good term because sometimes the data might be seem to be roughly scattered on the graph here. But in this case, it's not scattered randomly. In fact, the points seem to be lining up in a row. Not a perfect relationship, not exactly a straight line, but they do seem to be increasing um, as these ages increase, which makes sense. The youngest children are going to be the shortest, the older ones will be taller, so it's not surprising that this is going to be increasing. But like I said, it's not perfect. If we look at these two children, for example, this child is over 40 inches tall, this child is under 40 inches tall, so this one is taller, yet this one is younger. So the younger child is taller, and this child that's a little older is shorter. So it's not always perfect, but even though there is that variation, we can still come up with pretty good estimates if we draw our line of best fit. So by drawing this line, we will try to draw a line right through the middle of the data so that it kind of cuts right through the middle of this data set. Since this is going up in roughly a straight line, I'm going to use a ruler to try to draw a straight line. And if I, I can adjust the ruler, it's nice to have a ruler that you can see through so I can still see all the data points. But I think right about here looks like a pretty good approximation. So I think that is how I'm going to draw my line of best fit. And once, I'll draw, once I draw it, I'll take a look to see if I like it. But I think that looks pretty good. So let's put this in ink here. So there's my line of best fit. Notice when I drew the line, I think that looks pretty good. When I drew the line, I wasn't trying to connect any dots, and in fact my line doesn't even hit any of the dots. Because this is going to represent average growth. And maybe none of these children that we measured are exactly average. I can see there are several that seem to be taller than average, and several that seem to be shorter than average. So with that, I think my line is probably pretty good. And now I'm ready to start answering questions like these. What's the average height of a child that's four and a half years old? And how tall would a typical child be that's 25 inches tall?
For this, now I can use my line of best fit as a linear model. This line is going to represent average growth for children of various ages. And so, if we have a child that's four and a half years old, I go to four and a half on my x-axis, and I can go straight up till I get to my line of best fit, and that line, that point represents the average height of a child that's four and a half years old, and if I scoot over, it looks like that would be about 36 inches tall. And again, I made up this data, so that's probably not actually accurate. But according to this line that I drew, a four and a half year old would be about 36 inches tall. What if I reversed it? What if I know the child is 25 inches tall and I wanted to know about how old would that child be? So 25 inches, inches are on the y-axis, so I go over to 25 inches, which is halfway between 20 and 30, slide over to my line of best fit, so that would hit right about here, and right about there, and if I go straight down, it looks like that child would be a little more than a year and a half old, on average. Of course, individual children will vary, but on average, 25 inch child is probably a little more than a year and a half old. Let's try a couple of others. What if we have these two similar problems? The average height of a child that's 11.25 years old. And how about 55 inches tall? How old would that child be? Well, 11.25, if I go over to 11 years on my x-axis, I can see that one's not going to be on the graph. So this line is not going to be able to answer that question for me. Same thing with this child that's 55 inches tall. We're kind of going off the charts here. So this linear model is not going to help answer that question for me. I could continue to create larger and larger scatter plots and continue to draw lines of best fit through that, but that would be a little impractical. And a much easier way is to create a different model. Instead of drawing a line, let's write an equation. And since this is a straight line, this is a, going to be a linear relationship, this straight line is going to have an equation, if I write it in slope-intercept form, in the form of y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope, the steepness of line, or the rate of change, and the b is the beginning point. It's the y-intercept, where this line hits the y-axis. So we'll come back to these questions in a minute. Let's try to write this equation first. So let's start with that y-intercept. That part's pretty easy. The y-intercept is the value where this line hits the y-axis, which is occurring right there. And I can see that according to this line, the average child that's zero years old, a newborn child, the average height is going to be 19 inches tall. So that's going to be my y-intercept right there is going to be 19. How about that slope or rate of change? I know slope is the same thing as the rate of change or the growth rate. And so to get that slope, I'm going to do rise over run, or rise divided by run. So I want to see, pick two points on the line, and I want to see how much the line rises and then runs. And when I divide those, I'll have my slope or my growth rate. So we need to pick two points on the line. I've already got one point right here. When a child is zero years old, they are 19 inches tall, so there's an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. Now let's get a second point. I don't want to use actual children because, as you can see, none of these actual children that I measured are exactly of average height. So I want to pick, put my own point directly on the line somewhere, and it doesn't really matter where. I like to keep a little distance between the two. I don't want to put them too close to each other. Um, if I'm a little off, that error could mess up my slope number. So I'll let, I think right here looks like a convenient point right there. So let's get the rise and the run between those two points. I see the x-coordinate is 4, the y-coordinate is 34. So x and y. So rise and run. So there's our two points, so let's get the rise and the run. Rise and the run. 
And the rise, remember, is the change in the y's, the change in the y values. Don't just count squares. These squares aren't going up by one. So you want to see how is the value changing. The y values are going from 19 to 34. So from 19 up to 34 is an increase of 15 inches. So my change in y is 15 inches. What's my change in x? The run here is going from 0 to 4. So the x values are increasing by 4 years. So that's my run or my change in x is 4 ye oops, I wrote inches. Let's change that to years. And so I know these children are growing an average of 15 inches every 4 years. What is that per year? Well, 15 inches divided by 4 years, if you figure that out rounded to the nearest tenth, you get about 3.8 and that's inches per year. So that's going to be my slope or rate of change. The growth rate of these children, the m, is 3.8 inches per year. And so now I'm ready to write that equation. y is equal to 3.8 times x plus 19. This is a good point to pause for just a second to remind you what these values actually mean. The y values on the y-axis are heights. The x values are ages. The 3.8 is our growth rate of inches per year. That's the rate of change or the slope. And the 19 is the beginning height. So now we can use this equation to answer these questions that we couldn't answer before. These two were off the charts, so let's use the equation. First one, oops, not that one. Let's use this one. If the child is 11.25 inches, or sorry, years old, I'm going to put 11.25 years, those are x values, so I'm going to put 11.25 in for x. So the height y is equal to 3.8 inches per year times 11.25 years plus 19 inches at birth, and when we multiply and add, we get that child must be about 61.75 inches tall. And finally, what about a child that's 55 inches tall? Inches are y values. Remember, inches are y values. So I'm going to put 55 inches in for y, and I see 55 inches is equal to 3.8 inches per year times some unknown number of years plus 19 inches at birth, and I can solve for x. It's just a two-step equation. What would that value of x have to be? Let's get x by itself, minus 19, minus 19, divide by 3.8, divide by 3.8, and I see a 55-inch child would have to be about, on average, 9.5 years old. So I hope this helps. I hope uh, you can see the value of creating a scatter plot and using that to make sense of a linear situation.